Black Power. Black Power. Free the land. Free the people. By any, any and, and all means, means necessary. necessary. I'm General MY and I'm General Wamanifu. Coming in from the Miami base, this is Universal, Universal Underground, Underground Railroad News. News. So tonight we would like to hit off on an important topic, and it's dealing with feminism. Feminism, the advocacy of women's rights on the ground of political, social, and economic equality to men. So we must realize the origin of feminism and why it came about and who it came from and why does it exist. It exists because the white woman felt like that her white counterpart was being very unequal with everything, basically. He saw that his woman was not equal to him at all. And guess what? She came up with feminism. They even marched the streets, topless, demanding equality from their counterparts. And even worse, they imposed feminism on our young black women, or black women period. And we must realize that it's not our fight. And that it's very unhealthy for our community. We have to realize that feminism is a form of separation and we should not tolerate any form of feminism. Because of feminism, it caused a major breakdown within our community. Having our women thinking that they are more superior than our men. Having our women thinking that they are more masculine than our men. Having our women thinking that they can do more over our men even compete against them in a physical form and which not natural and very unhealthy and very unwise so we must realize that feminism plagues our community in a such horrendous way we must understand because of feminism our women praise the homosexuality the homosexuality within our men they praise our men with skirts on and with the lipstick and with the wigs and with the, with the hand. They praise that because of feminism and we must realize that, that it's very unhealthy for our peoples and it has to be neutralized. You can't stand and let that go any longer. It's a form of warfare. It came from the white woman because she felt like the white man was being unequal in which we have nothing to do with. Us as black people, we do believe in the Mayat, we believe in balance, and that's very natural for the black woman and the black man and the black soul and the black family. But what's very unnatural is feminism. Feminism caused the breakdown of the black family. And we must realize that. And we got to throw it out the window. I want my black people, especially the women, to let that marinate and realize that feminism is not for us. Give it back to the white woman. Matter of fact, give her back everything. So we can move on. Naturally and obtain our righteous places as black men and women. Feminism is a no-go. Black power. Black power. Black queens, we say this with the utmost love and consideration for your mind and your real natural position, which is the master teacher position, which is not hence to take advantage of the position, but moving in indomitable fortitude, moving in unsalable fortitude when we go into the Greek savagery. In 150 AD you see feminism instilled, where you see how she tried to be like you. You see she tried to make a stone of herself, the so-called the goddess of Hera trying to duplicate the goddess in Kemet. You see, where well you see 
Asar, and Aset. And you see Zeus, and you see Hera. And then you see different forms of feminism come from there. Where you see the form of feminism where she would try to show her strength more than the man and fight and murder and do such things of this nature to try to prove herself to her caucus, her Pacifoloid man. And he always put her in the back burner. As a matter of fact, he would sacrifice her at times and cut her up during Christmas and a couple of the youth and then put blood on her because they weren't multiplying fast enough. You see, the war is within them. We have never fought like that, black woman. We have never fought like that, black queen, black goddess, black divinity, benevolence. We have never fought like that. You were taught to be that way. We were taught to fight each other. Let's go back. Let's go back into this time now. Let's go back into Olympia, who was uh, the mom of Alexander the Great, who have happened to have raped and pillaged parts of Africa, where she encouraged him through feminism to destroy. And yet, the cracker woman is still not appreciated. The cracker, her Pacifoloid is still not appreciated. You go into the 1400s, she is still not appreciated. She writes poems and she writes and writes and hollers and screams and becomes a nationalist, a feminist nationalist, and still not respected. So then we move into the 1900s, where she says, we will not be physical about it no more. We will not be murderous about it no more. We will not fight physically. What we'll do is work in science, we'll work in the writings and philosophies and psychology of the kind of human, which they are a kind of human. And then you see Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, where she supported the birth control pill, she actually funded it, where she writes Book of Eugenics, where she wants all types of our people murdered, where she talks about the black woman being insufficient. But then she says, and quotes, woman. And when Margaret Sanger quotes woman as a feminist, she is not quoting all women. Hence, we see that we're considered three-fifths of a person. And that goes for you too, black woman. It doesn't matter if you wear straight hair or permed your hair. She's still going to see you like that. She's still going to see you lower than her. She's going to see you like palms come compared to her. She's going to see you itty bitty compared to her. Minuscule. Margaret Sanger went ahead and funded the birth control pill. And who takes more of that birth control pill than any other woman? The black woman. This organization facilitates the biggest abortions done in history and in the world. How can we support that? Feminism also causes our black males to become homosexual, where they feel that they could be better and make a better living being gay. And feminism supports that. Well, guess what? As strong black men, we don't support that. Because it's against our genetics. How are we supposed to produce? By sword fighting? No, by making love to our black woman. That's how we produce. We're living in a, in a time of genetic warfare. Uh, you see Margaret Sanger wanted to control the population. When we talk about control of the population, we talk about murdering black people. Biochemical warfare and psychological warfare. Where she has the Maslow and Darwinism theory. But not to give you so much information at this point in time, but just enough so you can let that sink in. Black woman, don't fight her war. And wearing that pink and marching with her doesn't make you strong and it doesn't make you accepted. She does not accept you. She uses you and smiles while she does it. 
She is conniving and deceitful. She's still trying to get the approval, the approval of her caucus, her Pacific Lloyd man. She is still trying to get his approval. So remember, Planned Parenthood goes against our genetics. They don't want us to live. Margaret Sanger quotes that no free youth or free children should come from a woman slave. That you are under her. You are under her. No free children should come from a woman slave. And she's talking about you, black woman. She also talks about us being weeds, that we should be destroyed for Darwinism and Maslow and the Greek feminism. Support that. So if you support feminism, black woman, then you support our death. And that's unacceptable. Black power.